What I want to talk about in this video today is run away and achieve nothing. And it's a philosophy can, that can be described to myself and to my friends a lot and to people that I hang around with and to everyone in life for the most part. Run away and achieve nothing. If you run away from all your issues, you will achieve nothing. It's very, very self-explanatory, right? It's very, very common sense. Okay, Mr. <laughs> what was it Mr. Obvious, Captain Obvious? What was it? What was it again? If you run away from something, you will never see what you could have become. And I see this a lot. Like I remember I told the story before in a video previously about my friend running away from the boxing gym because he was terrified. Of what? What are you terrified of? I asked him this question. He's like, I don't know, I'm just terrified. And then he just he came, it took him like a half an hour to come. His dad picked him up and uh, dropped him off there. It took him half an it's his ass half an hour to come, right? Because he lived quite far away. By by car. Pretty sure it took the fucking time. He's like I saw him on Google Maps like twenty five minutes or twenty minutes. I don't know why it took him half an hour. Guy's just fucking around because he's scared, right? And he came to the boxing gym. What was it again? And he was absolutely shitting himself. I literally, I went, I said, bro, come downstairs with me when you're ready. Because there's an upstairs section and there's a downstairs section. The downstairs section is where like the rings are, the bags are, everyone's communing, everyone's talking to each other. It's like a nice social experience. But then we're also about to fucking, fucking grind our, our balls out, grind our gears out, get a sweat going, get an actual proper training session going. That's the intention of the entire gym experience. And he's upstairs. And then I go upstairs after like 20 minutes in order to see him to where he is. And he just fucking disappeared. <laughs> Can you believe the cross on this guy? He just fucking disappeared. So I called his ass. I called his ass like five times. He didn't answer. And I called his ass one more time and he answered. He probably he probably looked at his phone, fucking terrified, shivering. <gasps> so what, a boxing gym? You literally go there, you punch a bag, and you train a bit. It's just, it's not fucking, it's, you're not gonna die. You're gonna be fine. He hasn't really talked to me ever since. Um, he talked to me a bit after that incident, and we went to the gym another, one, another time. No, we didn't go another time. No, yeah, we went one more time. Went two times before. And then after, he just went up and disappeared. He ran away and he achieved nothing. He's still a fat fuck. Good on him, right? It's not good on him. No, he's not good on him. He literally he has gyro. He has titties. It's very, very apparent his physique. Or the lack thereof of a physique. It's very, very apparent. And it's very, very worrying for me because he genuinely wants to change. And I said, I can help you facilitate that change if you only put in the work. Show up. 90% of it is just showing up. Show up, put in the work, push yourself as hard as you possibly can, and lose all that fat. Like I did. Because I, I had tangible results. I, I, can, I can show you images of me being fat as hell before transitioning over to a fit individual. It looks infinitely better. I don't look amazing, amazing, but I look infinitely better than I was before. I'm in a much better position than I was before. And I, don't, I don't only really compare myself to myself. I don't give a fuck about anyone else. Fuck, that's pointless. I see that, I see that often. Like, why would you do that? You compare, like, you compare yourself to someone who's richer than you. He's been in the game longer than you. Like, I saw this guy, guy like, it, it, yeah, I myself, like, I'm, I fall victim to this often, especially with financial shit. Fitness shit, I don't really give a fuck about because I know as long as I put in the work, the work will correlate and compound. You know Darren Hardy, the compound effect. I haven't read that book, but you can you can tell from the name, the compound effect. Your efforts compound, and then you get the results that you want. Just train for years, and you'll get the results that you want. You'll get the six-pack abs, you'll get the big biceps, you'll get the big arms, da -da 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 -da, big shoulders, whatever you want, you'll get it. A lot, as long as you are consistent and you have brutal determination, you'll be fine. What was it? And this guy, he ran away. And achieve nothing, and I, I really want to um, like push that onto you in this video today because if you run away from everything, you will achieve nothing. Nine percent of it is just showing up. Just show up. Ten percent is actual hard work. Just show up to whatever you want to do. If, for the most part in life, if you want something, and you want it badly enough, you will probably get it. I remember this guy before who was seventeen years old, and he'd been working uh, in this company for a year now. The way he got this job, I asked him, he said, I just walked up to a van, a plumber van, and I asked him if they have any apprenticeship program, and I gave him my CV, and then before, before you know it, I got a job, and I was just, I was laughing because it was funny, and he said to me, 90% of the things you want in life, you just gotta go get it, because for the most part, 
if you just have that desire, the burning desire, the brutal determination and consistency, you'll most likely get whatever the fuck you want in life. Only when, until you slip in life, we make a mistake. A mistake like procrastinating for a week, procrastinating for a month, procrastinating for an entire year, which oh, I've done previously before as well. Only when you do something like that, when you run away, you achieve absolutely fucking nothing. Like my friend over here. I remember my mom's friend, she had a business and she sold um, bags, shit, I don't know what the fuck she sold. She sold something, but she gave up on the business and she went back to her 9 to 5 because she couldn't handle the stress from sales. <laughs> she ran away and she achieved nothing. My friend over here, I called him, um, what I called him, Stephen yesterday? I don't fucking know what I called him. Stefan, I called him, I called him Stefan. Stefan. Stefan, he ran away from the boxing gym. He was literally like a fucking mile away. At, nearly at the bus stop. <laughs> the bo bus stop's here. Boxing gym's here. It's a considerable walk to get to the bus uh, thing. He was like here. He gets the boxing gym. He was like here. He was already running away that far away. I, I went away for 20 minutes and this guy already fucking pissed his pants and ran away. Like a coward. And he achieved nothing. He's still the fat fuck that he was before. And I saw him. Alright? I saw a video of my first man recently saying, oh, what was it again? Um, how do I say this? It's like uh, people think they're so important in their life, which is which is completely true. Everyone thinks they're important in their life, they're the most important person in the world. But if you think you're the most important person in the world, what are you actually doing to show that you are the most important person in the world? If Elon Musk said he was the most important person in the world, and he, put, and he sacrificed his entire life for space travel, and all, all his goals, his dreams are all realized, it kind of makes sense a bit. You know, of course, it is egotistical and it's very, very difficult to hear. And nobody likes hearing a person with massive ego like that. However, it is based on somewhat truth. Like, he is a, he's rich as fuck. He's achieved most of his goals. He sacrificed years of his life. What was he? Was he upper middle class or was he um, upper class? I don't, I don't know, but I don't, he had a relatively affluent. Upbringing, which is very lucky from him, but he lives in South Africa. He's always sh he's got shit rock multiple times. He's had, a, he's had a difficult life, but he still, from all of that, he's not run away. He's actually achieved something from it, and that's the majority of the failures that happen in life. Is most people just run away and they just become complacent with their jobs or something. Like when you start your business, like people, people are like, oh, I'm starting my business, and if my business fails, I need to go my job to fall back on backup plan, backup plan, backup plan. Backup if you constantly focus on the backup plan, then mate, it isn't your backup plan, it's your main plan. That's plan A then. People really talk about this about school with me and of course dropping out of school with me, for me was a bad idea because I didn't have everything organized by then, I didn't have my business set up, I didn't have anything going for me in a major aspect. I was just fucking sad, anxious and depressed and shit and I just left because it was fucking it was stressful for me. But if I had something actually going for me, like a business, like a little bit of an entrepreneurship journey, maybe some like some Iman Gazi SMMA type shit, then okay, it is justified. It is justified. If I had cash flow, then it, it will be justified, because ca if cash and money is the end or be all for most things in life, right? But most people don't have this, and they just focus everything on their backup plan, and they realize, oh shit, the backup plan is already what I wanted. So why, why do you see so many people in like lawyers and shit, and doctors reconsidering their jobs, you're working like 60 hours a week, 70 hours a week, not even including commutes, that's like an extra 10 hours, extra 10, 20 hours a week, almost like 70 to 80 hours a week, including commute and then getting, get, getting changing clothes and get, getting prepared for dinner or some shit. It's a hard job and you get paid what? For the first three years, 20k, 21k, 22k, phenomenal. No, I think it's 19k, 20k, 21k for the first three years as a junior doctor. Amazing, right? Amazing. It's no wonder you reconsider your choices up to this point because maybe you haven't made the right choice. But this is the beauty of making the right choice. If you're relatively young, even if you're 30, if you're 30, it doesn't matter what gender you are, even if you're 30, you still have time. You still have time to change things. Sacrifice all your 30s for the 40s, which is a bit fucking intense, but like, given the if, you give it, if you're given the opportunity to sacrifice your entire 30s for your 40s and the rest of your life, Take it. It's much better. Uh, by by that I mean make a bunch of money and then live the life that you want to live, not by sacrificing your entire thirties in a job, in a career, 
kind of some, some social ladder that doesn't even fucking matter because if the company is struggling, it will fire you at a whim anyway. It doesn't give a fuck. Like the heartless, people call it heartless meta layoffs. What was it again? PayPal. Was it PayPal? I don't, I don't fucking know. I don't care. I don't read the news that much. PayPal laid off 2,000 people. Meta, Meta, the, comp, the father company behind Instagram and Facebook, laid off 11,000 people. Twitter laid off 12,000 people. Amazon laid off 10,000 people and another 5,000. And a bunch of other people lost their jobs. Guess what? It's a business. If it needs to, it will get rid of you. The business world is a ruthless world. If you think that your job is secure, then you're wrong. You, and people run away to their job as if it's secure. This is a very, very big issue. Your job is not secure. The economy dips. There's over a million people in the UK right now that are, are like unemployed. A million. Don't forget about that. There's over a million. You run away, you achieve nothing. People, most of these people maybe had a, a bit of a something else they wanted to do, like a, their own passion project or some shit. But they ran away to their job. How can you trust the job, bro? How many people get fired per year? Too many. You can't trust your job. It's not gonna stay there forever as well. Some bigger talent comes along, you're gone. Economy recession, you're gone. Company goes down under, you're gone. You work for the government, not enough pay, and you still might be gone anyway. I don't know if I can find the news article. I don't know if I want to link. I don't know if I want to link it. But you can find it yourself. I don't care. This is, this is an unmonetized channel. With that big dick energy, bro. <laughs> I don't. I don't do this for money. I do this for put my voice out there, put my opinion out there. What was it? The doctor, the doctor thing. The UK government, or what? Health administration thing in the UK said stop training so much doctors and nurses. Despite the fact that the UK is running low on doctors, there's a doctor shortage and a nurse shortage at the moment, which is amazing. So just and once again, Rishi Sunak put two billion pounds, put a billion pounds into trying to censor Andrew Tate, and another a, a billion pounds to try to censor him again in schools. But if you ask, if nurses ask for a pay rise. They get absolutely nothing. Richard Sunak says there's not enough money to go around to pay. What? Nurses are the backbone of this country, bro. Free healthcare. <laughs> it even with the UK, it's, hard, it's difficult as fuck to get healthcare. You have to call like 10, 8, 10 a.m. in the morning, and then it takes a while to get an appointment. And there's so much misdiagnosis, and there's so much bullshit. There is so much dismissals. It's it's such like a, a stupidly stressful environment for no reason and Richard Sunak over here be like no it's fine it's fine it's fine let me sense out take that's fine the nurses that want more pay that help help people that thing that are dying oh yeah no fuck them up fuck them up like what is that everyone's priorities is gone nobody I mean Andrew Tate goes to jail Andrew doesn't go to jail I love Andrew Tate but nobody to give too much of a fuck, all right? Nobody gives that much of a fuck. Your priorities are off. Your priorities should be in countries. <sighs> Infrastructure, why am I going with this? You run away, you get nowhere. Right, you run away, you get nowhere. Don't run away. Face all your problems, face on. Take things more face value. Try to solve problems that approach you and never ever run away, never give up. That was a mediocre video, I dislike Ch Jimmy Chan, you're a piece of shit, goodbye, peace, sayonara.